Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. time and uh, uh, over there on the other camera ladies and gentlemen just kind of sitting back relaxing uh, Hi. Th- th- there she is she's she's got her feet up on her on, on the thing there because you're the last stages of my yeah you're, 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 you're not in the, you're not in the center of the picture but who gives a damn want me to go this way well uh, it doesn't matter we just Hello. but you see she's got she's got her foot lift, lift your foot so they can see your foot well so. I lift the good foot because that's uh, hard yeah, to yeah, lift yeah, yeah. <laughs> lifting the good foot I'm lifting the good leg but just imagine yeah, it's yeah, on the other yeah, leg the, the good one yeah anyway, anyway. Here, here we are here we are the 1006. Just saying, just saying. Look, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to do it. I didn't say I, I didn't can, want to do I it. I can somehow find something to talk about. I you know? do it out of my love for you. Really? Yes. I mean, it's past my bedtime. It is past your bedtime? Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. Anyway. I'm wearing um, a hat I bought you. Uh, yes, you bought that for me in Hong Kong. Mm-hmm. You can show them. See, it says Hong Kong. Hong Kong. There you go. See, Hong Kong. You can see Hong Kong. Anyway, uh, so um, uh, how are how are you doing this week? Uh, well, it's, it's everybody always asks me. You know, whenever I whenever I talk to people, they go, uh, "Will you uh, please uh, tell Marjorie how's Marjorie doing?" They always ask how Marjorie is doing. And in I, general, or yeah. because well, of my look at your look at your monitor now. It's all off. It's I didn't off. touch it. Oh, your monitor, Alex. Look. So what? That's so, my monitor. Well, it it makes me uncomfortable. Just move it back so it's straight. No, don't do that. There. I'm gonna unplug all that. <laughs> Just would you put that back no. the way? <laughs> it's my it's my monitor. He's got one, two, three, four, five. One of them is mine. Yes. Would you please turn it this way, please? <laughs> no. Please, because I need to see it. No, you don't. Yes, I no, do. You don't. It's my monitor. Yes, I need to see it during <laughs> the show. You don't. Oh God. <laughs> Please, I'm I'm do you asking you. Believe what a I'm wimp? asking you if you will please do that for me. Why? Tell me why. Tell I'm going to come over there and do it. But tell me why. Because I don't like it that way. It's not good for it. No, just put it back. She's got the monitor so that it's not straight. What, what, what did I install all this? There a little more, a little more, a little more. There we go. Okay, that's fine. I mean, what do I install that stuff for if you're going to, like, do that to it? And then she says, why does it break? Why does it break? Because you break it. Why do I do all these nice technological things for you? I didn't ask for it. I like basic cable. Well, I can unplug that computer if you don't want it anymore, (laughs) you know. I want a laptop. What do you want a laptop for? Because then I can sit in bed and do it on my lap. Oh, well, that's nice and lazy. Well, it's true. You can also do it. This on, is your room. Yeah, I mean, you, really, I have one little corner here. You can also do it on the iPad. Yes, you can do it on the iPad. Have you heard about that? Have you heard about the iPad? Yeah, but you can't do everything on the iPad. Hmm. So I'm too tired to do the show tonight, so can you do it? No, I'm going to bed if you're too I'm always tired. Ti- I'm tired all the time, and, and Shecky says it's probably the weather. No, I think it's because you're depressed. I could be too. And you have nothing to do. That could be too. You know. So I've got to find something to do. Do you, you think? You were going to go volunteer in no, the soup kitchen. No, yeah, well, fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. So, so much for your you caring. Know, I mean, it's depressing enough that uh, I'm on a fixed income that I have to go see other people who are on fixed incomes. They're on no income. On no income. You know, I mean, yes, I... What happened to my ball? There it is. Uh, I have to see it... I need to have my ball because during the show... Because he lost his other one. <laughs> He's got this, this down ball, to one. This ball, I actually, it helps my feet. Good. Yeah. 
Now we've got to help trick, your, your head. Little trick that my physical therapist. Who is also now, mine. Who is now, now your physical therapist. Would you move your hat just a little no. bit like this? Oh, boy. It's you my know? head. Huh? It's my head. Yeah, well, anyway, so I have this ball, and he uh, taught me to uh, just keep it here uh, with a towel down there, and then I can roll my roll it around on the bottom of my foot. And, and it'll it, make you happier. Yeah. Well, it makes my foot feel better. You won't be as depressed. No, You've I'm, got to get something to do, Alex. Yeah, I have I to mean, find something to do. Well, what do you suggest I do? I don't now, know, don't tell me the soup kitchen, okay? So just get the fuck out of the apartment. Because they don't even want me at the soup kitchen. That's true. You know. Um, what, what could I possibly volunteer do? Volunteer in a school. Well, volunteer in a My school. My mother did that. What do I do in the school? You go to... Uh, to to um, elementary school, and you read to the kids. That's what my mother did. That I read to the kids. Yeah, they just sit around. You read to them. How fucking boring is that? It's not boring. You know, and a bunch of kids, and you know what's going to happen? They're going to kill me because those kids all have little diseases that they bring to school with them. Well, you figure out what it is. You know, get the fuck out of the house. Get the fuck out of <laughs> yeah, the house. You... That's a, that's a nice way to put. I get out of the house. I go down. And I work out. And that's an hour. Yeah, twenty-five minutes. Well, back and forth. Yeah, yeah. So I do that. I, I did it twice this week. Well, you had twenty-three other hours in the in the in the day. Did I really? Oh, okay. Oh. I don't know. I and then uh, he, I come in here and I I'm tired. But then when I do while I do the show, I kind of start waking up. Well, good. You know, and then about towards the end of it, I'm exhausted. Yeah, well, and then you stay up till 3 o'clock in the morning. And because I drink my coffee. You know what happens? I'll tell you what happens with me. Well, uh, 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 Shecky and I were talking about things that keep you up. Okay? I know this sounds weird. No. Things that keep you up. And he told me about something that keeps him up. I don't want to talk about it because it would be giving away something. But he says he, at night, sometimes obsesses about it. And last night, he woke up at midnight and started thinking about it. And couldn't get to sleep. I've had nights. So when I called him today, like at 11 o'clock in the morning, he had been up since midnight. I've had nights like that. Yeah. And then I... And you can't fake it and try to lie in bed and think and hope that you'll go back to sleep. What I do is just put a television program on and just, I'm up. Really? Yeah, that's all you can do. I'm up. I usually can get myself to go back to sleep. I can. Uh, unless it's like 10 o'clock in the morning and then I kind of, you know... Well, you're at that almost. And up. so last night I had to take. Uh, I didn't get to bed till three thirty because I had to take a pill finally to put me to sleep, a, a Xanax. Because uh, it's just one thing and another with just putting all this stuff in. And I just think about where things are going to go and so on and so forth. And then I say, well, wait a minute, is that wire the wire that does such and such? So then I come in. I have to get up and go look. You hear me get up from bed a couple of times. Yeah. You don't get up gracefully. What do you mean I don't get up gracefully? You get up she, and then there's all that crap on the floor that you have to tiptoe around. She has nothing but... Com Am I getting fat again or is that just my... I'm That's not, your senior role. It's my senior role? Okay. It's 1014. I'm what? just saying, I'm just I'm giving an update. Hey, happy Chinese New Year's. It's the year of the pig. And you get money. Yeah. What happens is she, all the people in her office give her money. Well, we're only four of us and one's away. Yeah. So it's only two. So how much did you get so far this year? I got 600 or 700. Six, that's nice. It's very nice. That's just, it's just. It's just sweet. Yeah. Do you have to get them anything? No, but they give it out to all their whole family and everything. It's a big thing. Okay, so what year? And in, in, in China, that's the, that's the week because the. The week is it's just closed in China. All the factory workers go back home, yeah. and they've gotten their little thing, and and it's a week at home because most of them are in the factories and they're not home. Yeah. So, it, and all, all my guys go on vacations, except the people here. They have meetings. <laughs> we, oh really? Yeah. 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 Well, I. Uh, um, I mean, uh, it's a big thing. Yeah. Uh, what year is this? The year of the pig. Year of the pig. Now the thing is, 
that you'd think, well, maybe the year of the pig comes every hundred years. Or no, it's like every that. twelve no. years. They every do, twelve years, it's, it's, it's a, a rotating animals, animals. Yeah, yeah, twelve or thirteen. So, yeah. what what is the significance? Of, why the pig? I don't know. You know. I'm sure you could find it on Google. It's certainly not on any Jewish calendar. No, uh, we're, what are we, 5762? Oh, we live in the future. Yeah, we're in 57 it's, something. Yeah, yeah. I've often said, people go, oh, well, what's great about being Jewish? And I said, because we're from the future. <laughs> we're in the future. Yeah. No, because we didn't start, see, we didn't start our ca calendar when Christ was born. We started way back before. Yeah, because we didn't care Christ was born. Yeah. You know, so we just kept going. <laughs> so uh, for those of you out there who are uh, the assholes that believe that the earth is only 5,000 years old, it's at least 5,700 years old, according to the Jews. Yeah, and older than that. Yeah, yeah. So anyway. Neil uh, Tice, uh, <clears throat> what's his name, Neil Tice? Neil deGrasse Tyson. DeGrasse Tyson did a thing on, where he had the animals coming out of the water. He said, now if you believe in this religion, that's where the earth started. <laughs> it goes all the way back. So yeah. now for everybody else. Now for everybody <laughs> else. Yeah, that was on the Cosmos, I think. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Well, he's not going to be working anymore. Yes, he will. Uh, I, think they're, 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 I think they're getting to the point where they're not sure where to draw the line. Because uh, 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 well, he got caught in the middle of... But they realize like somebody uh, like um, Al Franken, I mean, really was stupid. All he did was put his hands up to her breast and a third person took a picture and they were all... She wasn't asleep, she was awake. She knew exactly what was happening. She set him up. Yeah, so anyway... Uh, and then, you know, that fucking cunt, uh, Kirsten Gillibrand. Well. You know, well, no, but look at what she did. Well, right, I, I agree know? on that. But and I, she did that for political purposes. Okay, but I still like her. <laughs> what, what, what do you like about her? Well, I like some of the things, that, the reforms that she's doing. I mean, she's, What reforms? Come on, tell me one. Well, uh, national uh, insurance for people. What do you mean? That isn't hers. It's everybody's. Well, it's everybody's. Yeah. She's part of it. She's a woman. Well, that's the wrong reason to Meanwhile, vote for Meanwhile, I listened her. to the Whitaker all day today. Did you listen to Whitaker? Yeah, yeah. And you didn't hear anything because he didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. They were given five minutes, and most of the people asked him questions like, I just want a yes or no. Nothing else, just a yes or no. And each thing, he went into this long, elaborate thing to just chew up the time. That never got to the answer. I didn't get the, I mean, they said, I want a yes or no. And then at one no. point, at one point, Somebody asked him a question, and he said, I just checked, your time is up. Yeah, that was to the chairman he said that to. Yeah. <laughs> what an asshole. He is an asshole. What an and, absolute And then they asshole. say that he's so unqualified for the position. Yeah. And the thing that I hate about it is, is when I was a kid, I kind of liked Little Orphan Annie. Kind of, in the comics. But what I enjoyed about Little Orphan Annie wasn't Little Orphan Annie, but Daddy Warbucks. He looks like Daddy Warbucks. <laughs> I mean, but he was he he was just what I saw of it so contentious and so disrespectful. He was disrespectful. You know, when you go before no matter what you think of these congressmen, these senators, whatever. When you go before them, you show them a certain respect in your presentation. You don't suddenly get up there basically and go, well, fuck you, I'm not going to answer your questions. But that's essentially what he was yeah. saying. Um, and all he wanted to know, hey, uh, uh, have, do you have any predeterminations on Mueller? They were worried about Mueller. Well, he came out and wrote a piece. No, he didn't write a piece. He said it, said it said on a piece CNN. On CNN. Yeah, he was a, one of those commentators, commentators on CNN. And uh, he, he came out against Mueller. Um, you know, but I do you think there's any way they're going to stop Mueller from finishing his probe? We'll let him finish it, but will it get out to the public? That's another story. That's up to the AG. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, would an uh, I don't know if an attorney general would sit on that. I mean, knowing what was going to be the result of sitting on it, you know, but he's got the authority to sit on it. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's it's up to it's up to Trump. Trump could say even if they wanted to put it out to the public, he could say no. I just can't believe you know. And uh, Phil's going to call tonight, by the way, folks, because he said that it's raining too hard and he didn't feel like driving to San Jose. It's ten twenty. 
Just say. No, it's 1021. Not on this clock. What clock? Right here. What does it say? 1020. And how many seconds? 31. Hey, are you you want to count it all down? No. Yeah. Why, why are these pants looking like they're... I don't look... I'm not... I haven't gained weight. Alex, just sit up straight and stop complaining. Oh, God. God. I'm... Anyway, Whitaker was... It was upsetting to even hear him. He was so belligerent and disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I... It's, it's just the whole thing is just... You know something? He's going to get reelected. I don't have any audio. No one's hearing us? N nobody's hearing us on video. Oh, boy. Oh, and you fuck. wanted to put all the things in together. Oh, fuck me. So no one can what's, hear us. What's the problem here? Hold on a second. I've got to fix this. Here we go. Oh, what? Why? What? What? Um, um, let me see. First of all, I have to see something else first. Oh, God bless it. Options. Um, and I go to audio settings. Yeah, that's working all right. Okay. That's fine. All right. So then I go in here. What happened? Something happened and changed my audio. Okay. So we're not going to be able to have this. Well, wait a minute. That should be on. That should be on. Son Let people bitch. call in and tell us no, if they can hear uh, us. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I've got to, I got to go up here too. Uh, Alex, no, it's not. Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Yes, we're uh, we are. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. Okay, I, just open up you, the board. You know board. what it is? No, what it, no, no. What yes. no? What it was was yes. a thing. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Just stop it. I'm a cripple. Stop it. You're not a cripple. Uh, there we go. That's what the problem was. Okay. All righty. Okay. No, it just. Don't come over yet. I'm not ready. You got about seven minutes here. Any, you're bothering me. Yeah, no, we, they they can hear us loud and clear. Yeah. What happened was I have meters and the meters were below a certain area. Why did? Well, I'll deal with that later. Don't deal. You deal with all that. I'll stuff deal with it later. Will you just go back there I'm, and sit? I'm this. I'm this far. I'm not moving. Oh boy. Looks no. like buzzing. Ray Renati says uh, what? What did he say? What? I can't hear the you. The tile is Bluetooth, but it will connect with everyone else who has tiles. What is this? I, I, wait a minute. Tune in. I, mean, I hear iTunes. No, I tune in. I mean, okay, well. You're fine. Open up the boards. No, we have the audio. Oh, good. I was worried we didn't have the audio, but please, please don't do that. You're annoying me. Really? No, I'm serious. Well, I'm glad. It just move back. Just move, move, move your, move yourself back there. In See all that work at the gym there. is working out. Yeah, it's working out. Anyway, where are we? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I've got to go to our twosome here. Anyway, so I, I, what it was is it was just a little thing where I didn't see the meters and I thought, oh hell, we're not, we're not running, uh, and. Uh, I, I don't un I just don't understand what the problem was, but anyway we're okay. All right, so where was I? You got me. Hmm. Yeah, I I, I got you. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay. All righty. I'm glad I got you. <laughs> anyway, um, where were we? Um, 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 so um, we're talking about Whitaker and about how terrible Whitaker was, he was today. He was so disrespectful. And it was horrible. But, I mean, it's just the whole nature of, of Washington right now. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I mean, Trump has just created, he's taken, you know, when I was a kid, the president was something you looked up to, the presidency. You well, know? It was like walking into a bank. And even if it was a terrible president, he still, he was the president, president. you know, and they, they... And there was respect. Even the worst of our presidents, uh, 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 Nixon is a good example, respected the presidency. Nobody can see your face. And your point is? Well, it's a lovely face. Go ahead. No one respects oh, the presidency. Now you're staring at the camera. I see. You're doing that. Okay. That's good. Five minutes for... Yeah, I have no idea why this uh, why this 
acted the way it did, but uh, I'm I'm doing okay now, so we're fine. Um, where what what are you what are you doing? Nothing. I'm here to annoy. This is annoying. This well, isn't I even am. making. This isn't even making for good programming. So I'm just you know going to just say good night to okay. you. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Take care. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Because uh, night night. You know you don't want to say hello to people. Well, I wanted to, but you won't put them on. Uh, well, what do you mean I won't put them on? What do I have to put on? What do I have to wait till ten thirty for? And well, then I'll, I'll open this up, and you can just uh, ta say start hi. talking to them. I just uh, didn't know where. where I'd rather I... talk to them at ten o'clock. I don't want to mm -hmm. wait till ten thirty. What? Okay. Hi guys. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, let me see here. Let me turn on the uh, the phones here. Uh, this is all. I'm, I'm all off base now. You threw me off. You oh, really I'm getting did. Blamed for no, this. you really. You threw oh. me off. You threw me off. She's coming over here, folks. So. Oh. Here, we may as well do this. Okay, the lines are open. People can call. Then you can talk to them, and I'll just, I'll just be. Uh, I'm just here to look. Huh? I'll just, uh, I'll just sit here, you know. Whatever you want. Uh, and you can talk to them. Whatever. Yeah, if they call, they may the not call. Microphone all the way over there. Huh? The microphone all the way over okay, there. Okay. Well, here I'll give you the microphone, and I won't even get close to it. I need a place it. for my leg. What? I need a mm -hmm. look, look, look what you've got. Look what you've done to us. What move, move, done? move, move. You've got... Oh, boy. you got uh, us all... you got all tangled... My chair tangled up. Howdy do. Howdy do, Ray. Hey, there Hello he there. is. Hey, yeah, how, yeah. how you doing there? You feeling... How's your knee? It's healing slowly. Very slowly. Uh, there's Phil. Yeah, there's Phil. Yeah, and I'm okay, out Okay, I'll here. turn off my mic. I'll just leave it up to her to talk. Uh, hey, Marjorie. Hey, Phil. How you doing? All right. Uh, who was the actor that died today? Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, it was 82? Uh, Albert Finney. Albert oh, right, Finney. Right, 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 yeah. right, yeah. Yeah, well, he was hey, they're dropping like flies. Well, we're at that age where they're dropping like flies. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, you know, we're going to go from Alex's waiting room to uh, Alex's ob obituary show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Frank Robinson died yesterday. Yeah that's, yeah, that's right. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Jeff Stein is calling. I feel so completely uncombobulated here that I, uh, I, I... Whose fault is that? Huh? Whose fault is that? Oh, well. See. It's raining hard here. Really? We yeah. have rain this afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, that's a, that's a reason you don't want to go out. I mean, it, it was it, it sucks. It I drove Uber all day. It was exhausting. Oh, yeah. in, the in the rain. Oh my god. I was totally exhausted by the time I got home. Well, how do you decide yeah. how do you decide when you're Uber and when you're Lyft? Uh, well, if there's no special going on like a bonus, I just turn them on at, at the same time and whoever comes first, I take it and I turn off the other one. They all have a couple at the going at the same time. Do you ever get any really interesting passengers that uh, all the time? Yeah, yeah, and I and I have a I have a video recorder in the car, so I can like re save the interesting ones and use them for my future oh, book. Let me let me. I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to do this. There we go. Now we can see our people here. There they are. Have you watch Cash Cab? You know that's one of my favorite shows. I yeah, I watched not... it. My favorite is Taxi Cab Confessions, Confessions. on HBO. Though. Yeah, well, yeah, but it's, <laughs> that was great. It's Taxi Cab I Confessions, love... but without the sex. Yeah, yeah well, I know. That's why it's not as good. The, the, With Cash remember, Cab, you can play who, along. Who was the comedian yeah. at the Taxi Driver Confessions? Remember? I never saw that. That was funny on HBO. Also, what Taxi oh, Driver okay. Confessions? It was. I didn't see that. What was his name? The black comedian, very funny. Dave Chappelle? No. Has one eyebrow. What? <laughs> I can't think of his You're name. You throw me off tonight. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just completely thrown off. Well, I'll, I'll say good night. Yeah. Hey. Hey, guys. Yeah. See ya. Good night. Good night. Oh, uh, Marjorie, how's your knee? It's healing slowly. I still have to wear the brace till the end of the month. Yeah. How about your concussion? 
My How's concussion that? seems I haven't been getting headaches, knock on wood, and I haven't been you've dizzy. Just, you've been listening to her. Oh, good. So you're getting you've, over You've been that. listening to her for the half hour. How the hell do you think the concussion is going? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. And I got a new <laughs> wallet. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, did you hit Alex back after he knocked you down? Yeah. Hi. Okay. Look who's there. Hi. Pamela. Hey. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi. I'm saying good night. I am good night, Margie. Night, night. Yeah, you're good night. Night. You've been a regular Doug tonight. Well, what can I say? What can I tell you? You've been so fucking annoying. Uh, well, next time you don't, don't ask me to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double her pay. Yeah. Huh? Double her pay. Double her it's actually pay. hilarious to listen to. Yeah, Especially right. without the video, it's better. Well, I, th I, I, I thought I wasn't getting any audio because the meter that goes back and forth was actually below the screen, right. and then I got to move it up. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm losing it, completely losing it. But then again, because I changed everything, and the way of doing business and stuff, I've I've had to adapt to it, and so everything looks wrong to me, you know, uh, until I get it working right. But that's mm -hmm. you know. Anybody see Whitaker today? Yeah, huh. I listened to him. What a jerk! Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, he 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 took those people to task. Hey, your five minutes is up, <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Yeah. You know, hey, the guy's got a week left on the job. What are they going to do, fire him? Well, you know, I mean, they, they were trying to a ask him some questions, and he wasn't answering them. So obviously, He wasn't going to get trapped by those bastards. Oh, you know? I have, I they were, try, I they were trying it. to get him to perjure himself. Don't, you know, don't you see what they were trying to do? That's yeah, what they did to Clinton, and you they know, got him. Uh, I learned one thing about uh, when, when I was a cop. Don't talk to the media. Don't, you know, and uh, because they're looking, they're, they're looking to trap you. Phil, you were you never know? a fucking cop. 20 fucking years. You weren't And you're a lucky cop. I didn't run you into you. You weren't a cop. Uh, were you in, ever, in the last 20, were, were you, you know, the 20 were, I was there. Ever, I wasn't the media wait either. Minute. Were you ever paid a salary? Uh, I was paid a stipend. Okay, you weren't a cop. I got uniform expense. What kind of and, cop uh, is that? I was paid for certain details. It's a rent a cop. Special, it's eight hundred it, a year. It's, it's a play cop. It's not oh, a play. Okay. Cop. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's PC eight thirty two point six. Look it up. You know. I think Whitaker went through eight hundred bucks worth of water today. Yeah. Well, that was paid for by the government. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hugging some water. You know, uh, it's you could see that it was. They were trying to. They were trying to trip the guy up, and There's he was smart touch. enough not to get tripped up by these guys. And uh, he answered their questions. Which, which hunt? Yeah. Well, how could you be told to answer something as a yes or a no when you're asked a question? You know, they were trying to trap him. No, he well, wouldn't answer no the question. They wouldn't. He, Phil. He wouldn't answer a question, so eventually they said to him, can you just give us a yes or no? He, he, he wouldn't answer the question, so they asked him, just give us a yes or no. We don't need uh, you to sidetrack us with an answer that doesn't answer the question. Look, uh, they, they were trying he to... He was being was a to... fucking asshole. Well, he treated those guys the way they deserved, mm. and I, I was proud of him. You know Good. something, you say you're proud of him, you're proud of Trump. You know, neither of them give a fuck about whether you're proud of them. Yeah? Yeah. Well, Trump cares. <laughs> and, he, and they don't give a shit about you either. Oh, and enough. by the way, you guys are in for it. Trump just went through a four-hour physical today and was pronounced that he was in excellent health. So all of you guys oh, that are hoping shit. that he's going to drop dead at his desk... Yeah. You know, it's not coming so fast. Yeah, just like last time he was pregnant. Phil, 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 pounds Phil, again, right? Phil, Phil can, I, can we be very honest about this? And please, please try and give us the most obvious answer. Look at that man. Do you think he's healthy? It must be. Uh, no, no, wait a minute. Does, 
It, there's no doctor in America except some quack he might hire to give him his yearly physical who would say, hey, you know, you look Pres great. You're terrific. Presidents don't get the yearly physical from a private doctor. They have to go to Walter Reed Medical Center, and there are doctors that handle the president. And, and they, they work and they're military Dr. doctors. Dr. Annie. What? Yeah, well, anyway, these hey, guys, these guys are, you know, are not going to lie. Hmm. <laughs> okay, the doctor who, who gave him that last one, Doctor uh, Ronnie, re he reported that he was told what to say by Trump. Yep. It doesn't matter. But he just doesn't got another matter. one. He just got what another mean, one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't okay, matter. Okay, whatever. Yeah. And did you see his family doctor? Remember his family doctor? That guy, Doctor Vinny Bambutz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I guess well, he was right. Crash cop. <laughs> You know, he, he was right because uh, he came to the same conclusion as the guy at Walter Reed. Really? Yeah. He probably got the same check, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm telling you, I mean, you look at the gut on that guy and you go, uh, you know, Mr. President, you're overweight. In fact, you're obese. He's, he's actually morbidly he's obese. obese. He's morbidly That's obese. That's why he wears, his, he wears coats that are way too big and leaves them open so you can't see his stomach. Yeah. He's morbidly well, he, obese. He's got Kardashian ass. No, but no, he doesn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> Kardashian he's like ass. Me. He ain't got Kardashian no ass. ass may be huge, but it's firm. His, it's, if he yeah, took his it's, pants it's off, would drop to the uh, ground. Her ass is firm because she's got implants. Nobody it's actually has really like gross that. now. Yeah, she keeps putting implants, implants like in. That. It looks disgusting at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, she can always remove the implants. Trump ain't yeah, gonna lose. Then what lose. are you left with? Saggy ass. Yes. Uh, no, you don't. You do some t nipping and tucking, and you get to get an ass back. But yeah. Trump, on the other hand, is his ass would fall to the ground if he didn't have his pants on. Hey, same thing could be said about our balls. But anyway, you look at the guy. <laughs> how can you say he's healthy? Come on, under no no conditions would he be considered healthy. Well. You know, the guys at Walter Reed looked him over for four hours, and they said he was healthy. So get ready for I, 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 six more years. <laughs> oh, boy. They probably didn't have six months. I think they did that on executive time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they did. No, that was scheduled. <laughs> it wasn't on executive time? No. Nah. Yeah. Uh, it had to be scheduled, you know. They, you know, they they schedule these yeah, things I as guess. part I of as, it's a requirement. That whole first part of the show threw me off tonight. I don't know, just you know. We Alex, it was this. funny as hell, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was listening. I was cracking up. Just for, threw me off. I don't know. I've just everything's throwing me off now. I'm thinking of taking maybe a week or two off, just to, just to relax. You, you know. should go yeah. someplace warm. I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to crawl into a corner and just sleep. You know. Oh. Yeah. You, you know your your buddy there, David Mayeri, went to Paris last week, and it's snowing. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, so what's that? What do you? What, well, does that you know, have to do with I what mean, we're talking about? You can't go to about? Paris. It's it's I'd snowing. To, it's I can go to Paris. I don't mind snow. Really? And it's no different than what you're in now. <laughs> I don't. I, I believe me. I, I you know. What do I need sun for? I like the well, cold better than I like the heat. I'll tell you that right now. The vitamin D makes you feel better. I can take vitamin D out of a bottle. I do every day. I know you look like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. But, it's working, uh, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, I'm just feeling <laughs> grouchy. What the hell? You know. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yes, Jeff. I thought you were. Uh considering to go to Spain again. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think about going places, and then I just go, fuck it. I just, I, I don't even want to go out the front door. <laughs> yeah. It'll be hard with Marjorie, because she can't get around right now. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Yeah, it would be hard to go to take some trips, you know. Yeah. She said, well, let's just go to some town in the United States, you know, just a town, and go visit it for a weekend. And I went, okay, how about Albany? <laughs> <laughs> and she she killed that idea you know. I think if I had one city to go to the two cities I would go to 
one of which we've already been to, and that's New Orleans. The other one would be Memphis. Memphis is cool. Memphis has Memphis a, is fun. Yeah. Memphis uh, is really good. Yeah. I've been to Nashville. And there's all different and kinds of people. And, and then you got the Elvis Museum. And yeah. Four or five days on Peel Street. Yeah. Yeah. I think my son was there this week. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. great town and and great things to visit. I mean, I loved uh, absolutely loved um, what do you call it? Um, um, Sun Records. Sun Records. Yeah. Sun Records was really cool. Yeah, it's a great tour, and um, I, I went to Graceland, but that's forget it. You know, it's just bad furniture. You know. Uh, <laughs> But then uh, we also, oh, uh, this Shecky and I were there when I was there because uh, we were coming across the country from California. And we went to uh, uh, St. Jude's Hospital to go to Danny Thomas's uh, uh, tomb. Did they have the cocktail table there? Yeah, well, that's what we were joking about, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, had a fr I had a friend who worked for Danny Thomas. Uh, during his last show, I think he played a doctor or something on the show. She was hired as a writer, and she was asked to go into Danny Thomas's office to see him, and he wasn't in the room at the time, so she sat down, and right in front of her was a glassed coffee table. Did she have to bring Windex? Uh, uh, and she was, uh, she was kind of, you know, questioning that. In case people don't know, there was always a rumor. Well, should we say it's a rumor? We'd Ooh, like sure. to, a rumor we'd like to believe is true <clears throat> that Danny Thomas, his little sexual peccadillo, was to hire hookers to come in and take a shit on a glass coffee table while he laid under it. Why would he hire hookers when he had Uncle Tanoose? <laughs> a joke nobody here gets. Well, they got had, had to watch the show. Yeah. Why didn't he just have Marlo watch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was too young. <laughs> but uh, uh, but he, you know, he did start a good hospital. I, I got to hand that to him. You know, yeah, that that place is uh, does what it says it's going to do, and uh, has never had a even a hint of uh, of uh, impropriety, uh, impropriety or, or whatever. Hello to Jason. Hi, Jason. How hey. are you, Jason? Hello, how's it going, uh, Alex? It, how it, are you doing, it, Alex? Fine. I'm just out of it. I don't know. I've just been tired all the time, and 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 uh, I come in here and I do things that I do every day, and I can't figure out how to do them. That's how confused I've been in the last week. But then again, I put in a whole new piece of equipment, and my screen looks different, uh, and uh, uh, I'm using a different encoder now. And so all those things combined kind of just thrown me off. And I just, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, tomorrow I'm putting in that new audio board, hopefully no problems. And then I'm going to take the weekend off and not touch anything in here, you know? Yeah. But I'm, I'm, uh. I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of it, you know? Anyway. Uh, hello, Jason. How are you? Pretty good. Yeah. Hey, just a uh, point of curiosity. Is it making the news like nationwide about John Dingle dying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Is yeah. it John Dingle or Charles? What was his first name? Was, was it John? Was it John Dingle or Charles Dingle? Oh, it was Charles Dingle. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it was Charles. I thought it was John. But Yeah. Yeah. No, but it, it uh, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was, uh, we lost Kevin <clears throat> for some reason. He'll, we'll, we'll get him back. Um, uh, uh, here he comes again. There we go. Here we are. Let's see if he comes up in the same spot we left him off in. There he is. Okay. What happened to you, Kevin? Uh, I went to mute and I hung myself up. I was talking <laughs> to the wife. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the same shit you are. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I, it's just, it's getting me worried and I'm tired and I'm kind of like loopy, you know? And um, girlfriend comes in and throws me off a little bit, and then I get thrown off completely. So I I don't understand it, you know. So yeah, hey, same thing knows? here. So. Who knows? Uh, We're in the same boat. Kevin, uh, is that uh, one of those signs that like they get from American Pickers, uh, that uh, uh, motor something sign on the floor behind you? Oh no, it's a rug. Oh, it's a rug. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was you know. One of those uh, uh, Harley Davidson rug. 
Uh, yeah. How much longer until your uh, implants are gone completely, Phil? Which implants? The, the, the implants in your head. You had a head, hair implants, right? Oh, uh, <laughs> I've, been, I've been combing it back. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was, uh, who was the guy that was, um, was it the attorney general or uh, bef uh, who, who ran um, uh, Chevron for Trump? And they and he uh, he left or was fired. Uh, the, his la the he last the last Chevron for Trump. No, no, he didn't run it for Trump. He was, I think, he Is that an EPA he, guy or no. Uh, the, it, uh, I I thought he was his uh, Secretary of State or uh, not the Secretary. <clears throat> I can't remember. Yeah, the first guy was a Chevron guy. That he yeah. I thought it was an yeah. Exxon guy. Maybe, or maybe. Exxon, yeah. It's, it's all gas. Yeah, how many but, secretaries uh, of state before was that? I'm not sure, but uh, uh, he used to comb his hair this way. I said, hey, that looks pretty good, and it looks easy. Uh, it's something you can do. You know, you get in the morning, and you go like this, and it's done. Yeah. And well, so, you know, you know th there's enough there that yeah, I can I comb, comb mine across. back. I comb mine back. Yeah. Yeah. See, I do, have to I do put a, a little, hat on I mine do, to keep it under control. I do. A, no, a, a, Alex. Alex Rex doesn't Tillerson. comb his. He, yeah, Rex Tillerson. That's it. Alex polishes it. He doesn't comb it. But yeah, Rex Tillerson had that haircut. You know, that hair that he just combed back, and I said, "Man, that looks yeah. easy." Yeah. So, has anybody found out anything about Mike Allen? No. I was totally going to ask. Thank you for bringing that up. I, was, <laughs> the, no. I contacted his sister-in-law. She has no clue. Uh, oh, really? So we don't know what to do. Wait a minute. Uh, you... Can you call her back and get his address or phone number? Yeah, and, I'll ask her. Yeah. And, and I'll take a ride up there and knock on his door. Oh, yeah. You're closer than me. Yeah. 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 He okay. lives with his mom, right? She's still alive, right? I don't, yeah, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I know either. his father died. Yeah. yeah but I thought see, his mom was still alive. Yeah, but, you know, it, what's strange about it is, is that he would, he's the kind that he would at least call and say, hey, I'm not going to call for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. I got some problems. My mother's sick or whatever. He's only in his late 50s. Yeah. No, he's the same age as you, Phil. No. Really? No, you guys are the same age. He, you guys are off just 20, by like, I think, a couple of days. Really? 29? Yeah. <laughs> Mike Allen, in case people don't know, is somebody who calls uh, Jack Bishop's show, and he called every night. Yay! Uh, cha -cha -cha. You know, I just remembered his sister-in-law didn't have any of his contact information. She told me Not that even already. an address? No. Uh, I think he didn't really get along talk. with his brothers that good. Or yeah, she hadn't talked because... to him in like two or three or four years or something like that. Well, what yeah. about is she four years. Is she married to his brother? Yeah, I didn't ask her the details. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I, I guess so. I think that there was a falling out between him and his brother. It had something to do with the parents or something. But well, just tell him we want to discover if the body is there. Yeah. But that—that's what I was actually going to do is try to look up his Facebook friends and try to reach out to one of them to see. But they're, they're all kind of weird Facebook friends. You know how sometimes they you you friend somebody that you know you're just interested in following, yeah. but you have no connection. That's what I've seen too. Yeah, they're all kind of yeah. just likes. Yeah, there's there's no friends. Maybe he was fake news. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> well, I mean, I just you know, I mean, like I I kind of kicked the guy off the show, so he went over to Jack's show, which was fine with me, you know, because his fucking voice just drove me up a wall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, and, and then he would he would cough every now and then, and he'd go, "Well, you better lay off the fucking cigarettes." And, take and, another and but I but I didn't dislike the guy, you know. Huh. And then when all of a sudden he disappeared, I went, "Well, that's kind of strange, you know. That, that's awfully strange." You feel I've just been now? told I can't talk anymore. The YMCA guy told me I can't talk, so I'll just watch. Are FYI. you in a library? What do you mean you or can't talk? No, what medical gym? Why, why, know, can't, why can't you talk? Well, he's at a YMCA uh, gym. Uh, exercising, so Maybe I he's guess upsetting the young men. Well, that's not yeah. very. Would you just tell him that, so far as I'm concerned, that's not very Christian of him? Yeah, well, he ought to start going to uh, what's the uh, the Jewish one? Uh, you know, the uh, JCC. JCC, yeah. Tell him to go to the wait, JCC. Wait, wait, they wait, never wait. shut the Jews. Wait, up. wait a minute, Jews. <laughs> yeah, have, probably wait a minute. Hold on a second. This is a new one on me. Jews have gyms. Yeah, the JCC. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, really. Yeah, I learned that from was, what do you guys call it? There was one in San Rafael. 
Susan used to go to the one in San Rafael. Uh, your Susan. Uh, and uh, she never she went to the gym. There? She never she went teach. to the gym. She, she made, taught there. What did she teach? I thought uh, either Yiddish or Hebrew. She uh, I think it was Yiddish. She was to hate Christ. But she there's was... only one bike. Yeah. And one set of dumbbells. Yeah. And one. <laughs> yeah. But they lasted for eight days. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Took a non-Jew to make that joke. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh. oh, man. <laughs> oh, so I'm out of it. I mean, I and I took a took a took a Xanax last night, and that threw me off. So I'm I'm in I'm not in good shape here. So, you guys are going to have to do the show for me. Sweet, mm. nothing unusual. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, uh, I wish I spoke sign language because I think uh, he does. Yeah. And then today I was up for uh, it's been about an hour with Jack trying to figure out why he can't get caller's audio in uh he was he's having trouble with this caller's audio being very low now, does he have it on two different channels because i know he's he's been having some type of issue with it, it hasn't been as uh much lately but with his mic when you hear him you hear all these crackles. clicks and pops and yeah crack in his audio no his his sounds okay now sounds pretty good Oh, with the new his thing. Mic. Yeah, but but uh, 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 but I went through it with him. I think it has something to do with the way he has Skype configured, but I'm not entirely sure of that, that he may have been having too low of an audio output coming out of... Uh, How many pots does he have? Uh, I don't know. Is, is his mix minus set up right? Well, no, if, to begin with... <laughs> What about his Drobo? Does does he end uh, uh, yeah, three, don't get three him or whatever? Yeah, don't get him started, Jason. <laughs> yeah. To begin with, I had to write as Phil a note tonight because last night I was listening and he was going uh, talking to uh, 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 Jack Look, about he the, had he had the, nobody to you talk got, to. You got to put you got to put mix minus in there and so on. And I you know I've done the study of mix minus. And uh, we could not use mix minus on this program because what would happen if if I did mix minus, you wouldn't be able to hear all the other people. Because, no, they come in on a separate no, channel. No, 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 they don't. No, no. Skype comes in on one channel. Right. And, if I, if, and if I mix channel. minus that channel, then the sound you're going to hear back is not that. You're going to hear nothing. That's the idea is that, that it, I know. it comes in on yes, a different channel. Yes, but you don't understand. That means that nobody will be able to hear anybody else. Right. So you take an aux send and you send no, it over no, to no, your no, mic no. channel. Bullshit, <laughs> Phil. It's, listen, it's not bullshit. This works just – what's wrong with this? It works just fine. But, but that's the thing is just he needs to set his up how yours is. There's something probably on well, his. He has it Because yours is a different channel. Your microphone is a different channel than your Skype, right? Right. So and, that's the same with Jack's. Yeah. Right. And, and then he you just needs an to. Send no, you, you don't do an aux send, Phil. I'm telling you. He needs to find it out will, what channel It will his fuck up, it will fuck up the rest of the study. citizen panel hearing you. I'm trying to tell you that, but you won't listen to me. I've studied mix minus, Phil. I know what it does. I know why it does what it does. And you can only do it one-on-one. -on -one. You can't do it when I've got a whole group of people here that have to hear all the other people in the group. If I went mix minus, they would be getting no audio coming back to them. That would be an improvement. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly in Phil's case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And with this new board I'm getting, it's very easy to do mix minus, but I, I don't want to do it because I, I realized when I heard about what it does that really what you're doing is making it so the sound of a person's call doesn't come back to them. Right. Okay. That's right. But in this particular case, your call isn't coming back to you. Your voice is 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 going along with all these other people. And by the way, let me say that Skype has built into it mix minus. Right. And the uh, thing about the Skype mix minus is it's not very strong. Well, it certainly works good enough for me. 
Yeah. I, I think the mix minus on your end won't affect the mm-hmm. Skype because it's going to already be after it comes out of Skype and it's just going to be going into your audio. So like if if somebody were to try to be over talking you, yeah. you know, because sometimes, you know, you and Phil get in your conversations and you really can't hear as much if I think that that would try to separate that and no, but you it would, would overpower but it, but everybody it would else. Still, it would still it, it can it. Mix minus is not something we could use considering the fact that we're doing the citizen panel because it's a whole bunch of people. If but, I get, but that's the only thing, though, Alex, because you could actually hang up and we would all still be here. So our audio between each mm-hmm. other doesn't yeah. have anything to do with right. what no, you have said. No, but what I'm saying is, I, it, it, well, uh, all I'm saying is mix minus would not be any kind of improvement and it probably would fuck up uh, the communicative quality of the Skype. All right. So, I mean, all you'd hear is you'd be talking and nobody else could hear you talk. That it's- other unit I sent you is a USB unit. Uh, on the other machine, why don't you try setting up the mix minus and, and doing a test? Phil, I know works. how to set up the mix minus on the new machine. <laughs> I have a whole yeah. list of how to do that. It's very simple. It's much simpler than on your machine. Because I have a throughput for the USB. And you turn that off and you do this and then you do that and then you're all set. It's very There's a throughput it's for very the USB simple. On, it's very on the Behringer. It's very on the Behringer. I have it too. Believe me, this board is great. Okay. And I saw a thing online about how you do a mix minus with it. Lay off the fucking mix minus. I don't want to hey, do so it. Did you guys hear that there was a huge fentanyl bust on the Canadian border? Oh, fuck you. We're talking about mix minus. <laughs> <laughs> fuck mix minus. That, that's not that, what people that's care Alex's about. That's favorite subject, you know, <laughs> is this mix minus stuff. I, no. I think we need to build a northern wall. Yeah. No. There's fentanyl across no, the Canadian border. I mean, the, the audio works fine the way it 90%. is on this show. Supreme Court confirmation hearing room in 216 Hart. What? That confirmation what is what is that? Modesty is the best indication of her judicial philosophy. What is that? Is, uh, I was trying to find the spot where uh, Camilla Harris kept interrupting, saying, uh, uh, point of order. Uh, yeah, well, I have a question. Well, well, before you put on what is essentially copyrighted material from some other no, it's company. Not, it's, it's yes, C-span. it is. I don't That's care. Like, C-SPAN copyrights their shit. The Brett Kavanaugh thing? Yes. Oh. Wow. All right. But that was funny, and I did look it up. It is John Dingle was the congressman. Yeah. Um, Where was he, he from? Was he in the, Michigan. Was he in New York? Oh, Michigan. Yeah, no, he was like one of the longest the, serving Charles Dingle, congressmen. Who was the guy in New York? Charles Wrangle. Say Charlie Wallace. Wrangle. <laughs> Dingle, Wrangle. Charlie Wrangle. Charlie <laughs> Wrangle. Yeah. So that's why I always did, like, Charlie Wrangle. But I, I, I think I've actually Dingle. started going Charlie Wallace. <laughs> Yeah. You guys kind of look a little bit alike now that after when he lost all his weight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, Ray can't talk to us, by the way. He's just pedaling along. Because oh, he, he was talking, didn't you see him? Yeah, he's being be- censored <laughs> by the Christians. He, by the Christians. Well, they're closing they're in censoring a minute. Him. Yeah. yeah, the Christian I wonder right. Who, I, want to know, I want to know who complained about me. That's what I want to know. Yeah. Well, I mean, who well, who, so who goes at, at a gym and goes, shh, you're making too much noise. Hey, did you what? say anything political? Because you're usually no. pretty PC. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, fuck them. What would be the difference if you were having a conversation with the person next to you? You know? Well, that's what I wonder, but I didn't feel like But that might be what it is. I hate it when somebody's talking on their phone, like you're staying in line and they're talking on their phone, being all loud. No, no, but I know what I hate about people when they're on their their phone is the fact that people don't understand you don't have to yell into the phone for somebody to hear you. Yeah, you, know. the, you can yeah, just talk, talk like really this. quietly. Me. I don't talk loud. Right. I don't talk loud, so I don't understand it. Yeah. You, you know you know what's bad at a gym yeah. is when you're next to somebody that's Don't again. tell us what's bad at a gym. How would you know? <laughs> he just told me again to so shut up. Uh, uh, <laughs> when they when they wear a lot of perfume. Uh, the only person, you know, I, there was this one person, this woman, uh, she must have been 200 pounds. She's on the uh, elliptical uh, trainer mm-hmm. and uh, she had so much perfume on she can't smell it and, and it's probably for a reason phil you should <laughs> probably be happy <laughs> uh, it was awful 
<laughs> the other smell probably would have been worse. Yeah, there should be some laws against. There should be some laws against perfume because sometimes you go to places, it, people come by you and they're wearing perfume and it's just ghastly. Or men's aftershave, <laughs> that's another one. Does anybody here use aftershave anymore? Depends. Yeah. Once in a while, we didn't hazel. ask about your undergarments. We asked about un aftershave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, witch hazel, uh, and then uh, you know, if I'm going out to something nice, I, I might splash on a little bit of something. Oh my god, really? Would you splash karate on after or something? You know? or no, I've got a cologne that uh, was a gift back in 1975, and I still have some left. <laughs> that's what, high karate? Uh, no, it's uh, Pierre Balmain. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's some French stuff. You can't get it here. No, I mean, I just, uh, I, in fact, Marjorie doesn't wear perfume, you know? Uh, perfume always annoyed me. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so far, I used to, I mean, when I was a kid, I used to wear aftershave because my father b bought me Old Spice, you know? Yeah. He, he said the cheapest. Everybody's dad wore Old Spice. Right. And, and yeah. uh, uh, I did that for a short time, and then I did it basically to get the sting out of my face when I was shaving, and then yeah. I discovered that the way you get the sting out of your face when you're shaving is shave in the shower and then wash, put your face in the uh, hot jet, you know, in the, yeah. in the shower, uh, and uh, it, it'll take the sting right out. So I never use an aftershave. And if, you if, know, if it's really bad, I'll use some alcohol. You know. I used to like to go to a barber shop and have them shave me with a sh straight razor and a hot towel, and then afterwards they use uh, like witch hazel or something and that always felt and smelled good. You know, it yeah. Was, it was yeah. 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 What's I, the uh, shaving cream that starts with a B? It's like uh, really Barbasol. Barbasol. Yeah. That, that, that is the jam, man. Like, That's what I use. Yeah, me <laughs> too. Like after, after I discovered, you know, I freaking use some Barbasol, I never had a problem and, after that. And it's that. what, a buck, a buck for yeah, a it's like it's, <laughs> it's like the cheap stuff. It's like right. the old man cheap stuff, but it's the best stuff to I use. Just use. I use Gillette. Ah, yeah, me too. Pay too much for crap. Yeah, it's like five bucks. Where you know, for a buck, you get the Barbasol. And the Barbasol's better, and I, the smell of it is—I don't know. To me, it's just—it's like nostalgic, like reminds me of my grandpa brush. or something. I have a—I have a brush that I have uh, in my shower, you know, and I put the Barbasol on the brush, and I, you know, brush it up and and shave in the shower. Yeah. Get a mirror in the shower. Nah, you know, I don't need a mirror. I, my I, hair is I, far I, enough away I, from my I, face. <laughs> every, time, every time I take a shower, I shave in the shower, and um, I don't use a mirror at all. I do it by hand. I can feel... How do you keep I, from hitting your beard? Uh, I just get close to it, and then when I get out of the shower, I go to the, the uh, mirror, and I just trim it up and clean off Did all the area I didn't get. Yeah. You know, they make mirrors that... Uh, affixed to your uh, shower Yes, fixture. I've heard about that technology, Phil. Yeah. And uh, they don't yeah, fog. It's an extreme tech. It's a very new technology, and I'm so happy it came along that they have these... How do they pronounce it they, called? They, get, have a, they have a suction cup on one end. And no, no, it, these are the good ones that hook into the water spigot. Oh, that, I've seen those too. Hey, that, why does it have to be a water spigot? Why can't it be a water honky it? Well, uh... <laughs> You know, because uh, we're so used to going outside to the hose bib on the side of the trailer that, uh, you know, it's a spigot. Spigot? Yeah. I mean, Honk, yeah. Not spigot. A spigot. A spigot. A spigot. Well, I had spaghetti tonight. I don't know how God fell. <laughs> Oh, shit. Gee, where's <clears throat> I'm almost praying for Doug to be back. Is that now. a Mexican noodle? Is that what you said? <laughs> no, no, don't. Uh, I, I can't say his name three times because then yeah. he'll call. You know, as a Republican, I have drank straight from the uh, hose. You know, just put the hose there. <laughs> Pure Kool Aid coming out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, anyway. Um, I got nothing to say. I, I have. I, did I have anything last night? No, I didn't have anything. Oh, you know, as, as your travel consultant, I was going to suggest if you want to take a quick vacation, that because you live on the East Coast, go to Bermuda. It's yeah. it's different enough. People drive on the other side of the road. Uh, it's. I don't want to go to nice. fucking Bermuda. You know how easy it is for a New Yorker to get to Bermuda. Yes, I know how easy it is, and you know what happens? All the New Yorkers go there. 
Okay. Yeah. So I thought everybody on the East Coast Bermuda. goes to Aruba. <laughs> huh? I thought everybody okay. on the East Coast goes to Aruba. Aruba's oh, that's down the almost high, by uh, that's South America. It's South America. Brazil. Yeah. I don't know. That's what I thought Venezuela is. Oh, let's all go to Turks and, Ca- Turks and Caicos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but hey, Alex, how did you get along in the the temper the temperature in uh, Belize? Belize, uh, it was okay. You know, I I, I I know you said you can't do humidity a lot. Yeah, you know, it wasn't that's that pretty it wasn't, humid. It was well, no, it wasn't that humid. No, uh, I didn't like Belize though. I just felt it was kind of filthy. Really, <laughs> you know, kind I of... did all this stuff about retiring in Belize. That, oh, uh, yeah, it, 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 oh it, it, then it was wonderful, Phil. You must go. <laughs> no, they, you know, they say they speak English. In fact, I book, I book, I book your flight right now. All right. That no, I mean, if I had, to, if I had some place to live, I was going to spend the rest of my life in somewhere foreign. Hello, Ray. Uh, hey, hey, Phil. They have great diving in Belize. By the way. I know. I, I haven't okay. been there. Uh, as okay. I, I, I think I would move to Spain. I love Spain. Spain's really nice. Yeah. Aren't they paying people money to move to Vermont? Uh, I heard a couple of weeks ago that uh, they want more people to move to Vermont. And well, uh, I would. Vermont's a very nice place to live. Yeah, you've said mean, that. It, it's really, um, uh, but you know, I mean, it, 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 we it, that would be pure retirement, you know. And plus, it's not cheap up there, you know. No? Yeah, it's, but um, I uh, every time we go up there, I love it. It's just wonderful, you know. So uh, we've got uh, we've got uh, Ray in his car. Yep. Yeah. God, that guy in the freaking YMCA, man. It's like I heard. What? All. He's like in. They were only open for another. They were only open for another minute, and he comes up to me again. There's. I was the only one in the gym, and he's like, oh. I told you already you can't talk. I was literally the only one left. Wait, who yeah, told, wait, 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 wait a minute, but who told you that? Does the guy run the, the place? The, the, you know, one of the workers in, in what, there. One of the workers, but is he the guy who... Somebody probably complained. Nah, well, but if you're the owner, like he if, was having a power trip. If you were the only... Well, no, I've seen people complain about people talking, and I've seen them go and do that before. So I was... I'd, I'm sure someone complained. I'd find another fucking gym. Hey, in, well, in well, gym cheap because my wife works here, yeah. or for free. Or I, for free. Planet Fitness is cheaper. <laughs> well, it's free because my free? wife teaches. Planet classes. Fitness, ten bucks a month. Hell yeah! Well, I do zero. Huh? I zero. I'm, I, we pay zero because my wife teaches dance. Yeah, but I, I can't class. believe you're so poor. The ten bucks is going to break you. <clears throat> You know, we don't have a plan. My place, I got a my place, right my here, place. So maybe you should start one. I, uh, I, I was <laughs> going to go to Plan Fitness, but then I decided I was going to go more upscale. So I go to Blink. It's fifteen dollars a month. Woo. If I want to rent towels for a month, it costs ten dollars for the towels. So you know, I don't. I bring my own towel, and uh, all I've ever paid them is fifteen bucks a month. And I go pedal and uh, you know do at least two days a week and. They were all talking about you when you go in there. They say that's the guy that brings his own towel. He's trying to beat us for ten bucks. You know. Well, I I, ah. I bring my own towel because I always used to bring my own towel when I went to work out. You know. Yeah. So I'm used yeah. to that. Real men do that. Yeah, real hey, real men. Did you ever hear people that. grunt when they're lifting weights or something? They do these. What if I was singing? Noise. Yeah. They're not singing. They're grunting. No, I what think. if I was singing? You know, what if I was just singing? You'd get thrown out. They have a new, sing? they have a new no singing rule at the YMCA. I got to join the Jewish gym. I'm sure it's like nonstop jibber jabber over oh, there. Yeah. That's what I would think. <laughs> and we can't stop Jews from talking. That's right. <laughs> or Italians like me. So. Well, we don't like you here at the Jewish place to um, uh, to talk on the phone. But if you do it, don't bother me. You know, don't ask for a donation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, man. Oh, man. So I got another 50 minutes here to fill. And, and uh, oh, I, we could go back to Trump, but then we get Phil all wound oh, up, and God. then I get apoplectic. Then I won't be able to sleep again. Huh? <clears throat> I won't be able to sleep again. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I sleep. No. 
I'm tired of Trump. He's the same old blowhard. That, you know, it's just ah. he, he, he he dominates the the news cycle and uh, with bullshit. You know. Yeah, it's, it's just the, it's endless. the media that lets him oh, do that. Oh come! On. Hey, oh, they, they no, cover it. He doesn't. Yeah, because you can only dominate what they let you. The dominate. media. The me I agree with you, Phil. That they they have have. How can I put it? Uh, uh, they they've taken the bait, as it's it were. It's the low hanging fruit. But he's president. But, he's but, president. but on the other hand, these are people who are trying to earn a living, and these stories about Trump, uh, people want to hear. So that's what they do. You know, uh, if, if you go into any country and you want to find out what that country is about, just look at their media, and you'll find out everything you need to know about them because they'll be talking about their country. They'll be doing things to play to their audience. Uh, it's, it's so I don't don't blame the media. I mean, this is a guy who knows how to manipulate the media and he's doing it and he shouldn't be manipulating them. Well, media. most of the countries that you like, uh, the media is owned by the government. And if they don't like what the media says, where the government just where, shoots. Where, them. where are you talking about? Uh, BBC. Uh, yeah. And, and you, you know. don't think that in England there aren't uh, non uh, aren't networks that are. Uh, not owned by the government. Well, now there are, but uh, there have, recently there was now just three there, channels. Now there are. There haven't been. Uh, they, they've been in existence for the last what thirty to forty years. They or got something? kings and queens, so they must be. You know, they don't shoot people in England. And they don't oh, shoot they people. Them. They, right. they don't shoot well, people. Well, that was a couple centuries ago. But all right. Okay. Well, so it's old news. <laughs> it's old fake news. <laughs> Yeah. The French, you know, you know, the in France, the last beheading was like in 1974 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, man. They use the guillotine. There's a video of the guy getting his head chopped off in the guillotine. I yeah. saw it. Woo yeah, damn. Yeah, maybe you can get a new guillotine on Craigslist. Yeah, maybe that one. Well, the only Trump's favorite that. country, Saudi Arabia, that just happened last Friday. The only they, they, they just use a sword. sword. The only reason yeah, they, they did away, the only reason they did away with the guillotine is they did away with the death penalty. So yeah. not in Saudi Arabia, it was cheaper to use stones. You know, everybody gets a stone. They when lost. I was in school, I had a friend who whose father worked there, and they had to go to the, watch the stonings. It was it was law. They had to go watch. Yeah, in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, and 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 every couple of weeks there was a stoning that they were mandatory attendance. Everybody must get stoned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I was on mute. I was totally gonna say that. Yes, oh. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, the Jeff Bezos <laughs> thing keeps going. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Does anybody has anybody seen the dick pic? And, uh, you know, I just don't want to. There isn't a uh, there isn't a dick <clears throat> pick. I think there's a pubic hair pick. Uh, really? Yes. I mean, he took one pubic hair and said, "Hey, look no, at no, this. no, no, no." It's just the, the, <laughs> look the, at my the, pubic the, hair. The shot stopped at the top of his pubic hair. Is what I heard. who cares, man? What kind of shot is that? Hmm? I mean, did you see that Sanchez girl? I, you know, I would have given up sixty billion for for her too. You know, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, so what? What's the uh, the Amazon guy? What's his name? Well, That's not Jeff Bezos. Bezos. That's yeah, who Bezos. we're talking so about. So they're they're saying that they think that they got the shit from the government. The, the, Did you uh, hear that? That's why they were Trump's threatening got a hard him. On to, for him? Well, it was it was more to do with that, but it was something about why they were threatening him to stop investigating where they got the information from. And then there was something else that came out about the government maybe intercepted the that's information. That's yeah. Right. And well, that, that's, you know, I could see the way that Trump is pretty a vindictive person. Yeah. I could see him going yeah. in and freaking stealing somebody's crap like that and doing that. And if, if that's the case, man, it, I, honestly, Phil, how would you feel about that? If he really did instruct people to get dirt on him and then released it to you know the national Enquirer. And it's funny it? that they they brought that up around the same time all that uh, virginia stuff was coming up too and the national Enquirer is you know the uh, head of the national Enquirer has already been uh covering Pecker. up for trump mr uh, pecker no he 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 
dumped all the information on Trump. He, he uh, opened the, up the safe and said, okay, here but, it is. But how did he have information on Trump? Because he was working with him, right? Or working for him? Or that, covering shit up you know, for him? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, they're news people. They want to gather information. and They, they would want to gather it. information and release information, not pay somebody off to take their information so nobody else can get it. Yeah, I don't know the full story on well, that. Well, the Inquirer that, does that. You know, they're not re- they're not really legit legit. Yeah, they, they pay for stories. Yeah. And um, now, no, no, I would no, think no, that no. they're pretty legit because isn't that what you said, Alex? You know, that was a somebody told you if the National Enquirer came out with a story saying that you had cancer, you better go to your fucking doctor. You mean like yeah. the Martians? Yeah, no, I knew a, no, no, you're you're mixing that up with the Weekly World News, which is uh, was started oh. by the National Enquirer because they went to color and they still had their black and white presses, so they had to do when something. When I was a it. kid, my mother always read that stuff at the checkout line, but she never bought it. She <laughs> always read it and then put it back. Yeah, but but the point I, was I think, the, the point is that uh, uh, the National Enquirer. I had a friend who actually worked for the National Enquirer, and he's the one who said that to me. He said, you know, you can say what you want to say about the National Enquirer because the question of ethics has always been how they get their stories and the fact that they were willing to pay for the for their sources uh which is not what normally goes on uh and is considered proper but that if uh, you see an article and it, and in the article it says you've got cancer you better go see your doctor that's how he put it that the, it wasn't that they were necessarily wrong uh it's just the way in which they got the sources for that news item and uh, that's always been their way, though. They've always been that kind of organization. Well, you know how they got the stuff on Bezos? They ordered Bezos. it on Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you pay for your sources, though, you, you risk uh, them, you know, embellishing or, you know, twisting it a little. Well, they, yeah, you know, you you don't get uh, people. Yeah, people sometimes will tell you what you want to hear if you're willing to pay for it, you know. Kind of like the Trump witch hunt investigation uh, special prosecutor. Yeah, witch hunt. Yeah. 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 You, you use you <laughs> love to use all the uh, all the words, don't you? You all love to use words, all yeah. the uh, all, they found all a the... bunch of witches. Huh? Yeah, what? all the codes. Yeah. Um, but the whole. I, basic... I wish I could have remembered some of the tweets that that. Uh, one uh, congressman that just died, Dingle, said about Trump. He had some really good ones. <laughs> well, do you think it's a conspiracy and that Dingle is dead because... No, he is the... <laughs> old as fuck. How, how he was 92. Old? Was he 92? I, yeah. 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 And, and he had he'd been... He had a stroke years wasn't he, ago. Wasn't and, he the longest lasting... Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, they oh, called con- him the currently? dean of the Congress. Uh, yeah. I think, yeah, still to date, I think... Uh, well, was that that guy, uh, it wasn't Bird. It was uh, somebody else in uh, North Carolina or something that uh, that lived uh, that that spent the most amount of time and. Well, uh, well he's a senator. Always, always, always. See if she lives long enough. Could probably be the lo- oldest in in uh, in Congress. You know, because she started so young. Yeah. 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 Um, Nah, she's gonna you don't be have president. to call her OAC. You can use the abbreviation OC. OC. Yeah. Really? I didn't yeah. know that, Phil. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh. You got my permission. Oh, I see. Uh, the only reason they're calling her OAC is because they always refer to her as Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. is a little long. So OAC is fine, you know. And so OC. She doesn't seem to mind it, you know. And she is certainly, I got to tell you, for somebody who's only been in the Congress for, what, three weeks or something? Boy, has yeah. she made an impact. I love now, her, she man. Said she's funky. She, she's yeah. waiting to get her first check so she can get a, uh, a, a, yeah. an apartment. Mm-hmm. Don't those guys team up or live in their uh, office? Sometimes, because they don't get paid a lot. You know. 178000 a year or something? Oh, no, that's a senator. Yeah, that's no, a, that's a House member. That's a, that's house, a house member. House member and senators get paid exactly the same. Yeah, so one hundred and seventy-eight thousand. But there is, but all there, they can steal. But there is an expense at, uh, at it, that isn't just you know, hey, here's your money, go get yourself an apartment. 
you know, there's a lot of money. They, they pay, I think they pay for all their plane flights back and forth and so on, things like that. Uh, I think they get an expense account. And then, they get, yeah, for office. A per I think diem. you said one time that yeah. they also out of that money has to pay for their uh, uh, their employees, but no, they're it you know, that's a separate fund. Uh, you know, they get a per diem. They eat in the cafeteria at the at the uh, house. Mm -hmm. They um, get their freedom fries. Yeah, well, and they can all stay. Got in a gym. They got everything there. Yeah. Yeah. They have good insurance. Yeah. 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 Now Alex says they pay for that insurance. No, I oh. don't say that. Well, no. oh, you give me one hundred and seventy-four thousand dollars a year, I'll pay for my own insurance. <laughs> right? <laughs> you won't be left with very much. They have a. I mean, there, there's a plan the that they have, and I don't know how that plan works exactly. I mean, there is no such thing as a free medical plan anywhere. You pay something, but it's a very minimal amount. Yes, Jason. So has anybody gotten their taxes done since the new? Uh, Trump tax bill came in effect for a full year yet? No, no. but have you? Oh, I did. What happened? <laughs> did, did you Surprise. get less back? Uh, I still got a refund, but it wasn't as much as normal. And my tax guy says that all these corporations are in cahoots with the government and they uh, took down their withholdings to make it look like you're making more money to help yes. stimulate the economy. Yeah. But then when you're set up to be taxed high, so you get a larger refund at the end of the year, guess what? That larger refund isn't quite as large. <laughs> Why yeah. would you want to pay money in that you don't get any interest or anything on hey, to Phil, get it I'm back? A I'm a patriot, Phil. I loan my government <laughs> my money, knowing that they're going to pay me back. I don't care if they're not giving me interest because I'm a patriot. I I'm see willing to let the them. Now. I'm willing to let them use my money in order to help provide me the services that I need as an American. You're right, but then you want it all back. Not all of it. They're not paying me interest, but no, you know, honestly, I my personal thing is tax me high. Because I know I'm going to get a larger tax refund, and you know, I would just I would spend it throughout the year. So if you, so tax what, me so what, you take the money away, then that's you, kind of a savings. What for you're me. saying is that the the companies uh, were char doing less of a withdrawal for taxes. Yeah. So that to you make would, it look like you're making so more you money, so you would be taking yeah, home make, home more, like and then it, and then at the end of the year, you found out you weren't going to get back as much as you normally got because you were. Getting because that they money. weren't withholding he as, he much money. Yeah. as much money. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, Some doesn't, people that, doesn't that get suck? Phil ended up owing money, and it really the the amount that I got back every paycheck really wasn't enough that I noticed. You know, it was you know fifty bucks or something. Yeah. On, yeah. And I'm sorry to some people who are lower income. Fifty bucks would be a huge amount, but you know, I'm not lower income. Fifty bucks extra in my paycheck every two weeks really isn't that much to but, me. But how much uh, was your? Uh, how much? Uh, it was about two or three grand less than what I would normally get. <laughs> See? I, I withheld on my personal scam. all year long, and then when they did my taxes, I had to pay another thirteen grand, and uh, I was not happy about that. Thanks, Trump. Uh, it wasn't Trump's fault. Uh, I oh, didn't oh. change my withholding amounts from the time yeah, I but, owned but the house. All I'm saying is what we're saying about for Jason is that people are going to find out now they didn't get exactly the yeah. tax break they thought they were going to get. But, and by know, the that, way, by the way, that tax break is only temporary. It, yeah, it's, it funny, it's funny, the corporation that I work for, their tax break isn't temporary, yep. and they vowed up and down that they were going to hire 10,000 more employees, or I'm sorry, not 10,000, maybe it was, but they've laid off 10,000 employees since then. So, there, so there's, yeah. there's, your, there's your Trump economy, Phil. Yeah. Well, uh, if they're uh, non-essential workers, you know, got to do what you got to do. Phil, but when Phil, when is it coming to a point where there, everybody is a non-essential worker? It's we can replace you happened. all by by robots. We can Here's replace what you happens, all by Phil. Phil, Phil, you, Phil, 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 Phil. Let me let me for a moment tell you about the evils of capitalism. Okay, is that these companies will do everything they can now to operate at less cost than they operated before. If there's a machine that can replace a human being, 
they'll put that machine into play. They will do everything they can to save money. They don't give a shit about their workers. And so, uh, you, so as a consequence, Phil, you had, for instance, who, who just let off 10,000 people? Was it, uh, was it General Motors? Yeah. Uh, because companies wanted to play to the bottom line. They don't give a shit about people. And tr what Trump handed them was the weapon to do it with. I disagree. And Good. I'll tell you why. Good. But you know, I, I don't want to hear why. I don't want to hear why. Well, of course you don't want to hear why, because it, it doesn't support your... Uh, no, because you're going to give me some statement. kind of idiotic answer. No, so, it, Phil, your answer was idiotic. I, I'm Phil, telling I you, I, I visited no, a factory, a new factory, okay. and wait, wait, wait. all the... Jeff Stein's the waving things. his hand. Jeff, what's right. on your mind, Jeff? Thank you. I heard about this uh, General Motors stuff. So here's these 10,000 people who all got laid off, <clears throat> And it was totally a cost reduction thing. And a lot of these people, part of their job is they had a car, and a General Motors car. And guess what happened? The guy says, all right, you're fired, and give us the keys. And because you no longer have a car, so you better figure out how to get home, too. So they had they had a whole bunch of tax. Yeah, and and that, where, by the way, are they going to make up the slack in building cars? They're making them in Mexico. Thank in you Mexico. very much. They're, they're uh, a lot of it was management. People, people it aren't buying sedans, but yeah. I, on the robotics, I visited a factory a couple months ago, a, a carpet tile factory, and they had plenty of people working there, but the jobs that were backbreaking, lifting up boxes and setting them down on a conveyor belt and, and, and so forth were performed flawlessly by these uh, robots. And I, I tell you something, I was so impressed by it because this is where you get all the back injuries and things like that. So they let the robots do those things. Yeah. And so, uh, so in lieu of back injuries, what happened to those workers, Phil? Well, they... I don't know. They were probably doing something else, but yeah, well, uh, yeah somewhere else. But probably they're, they're lifting getting, something. Hey, they're but not Phil. getting abused. They're not getting abused. All the orthopedic Phil. surgeons can't well, do the tough. job anymore. Phil, well, in your job, if they came out and said, "Hey, we came out with this machine. It's a hundred thousand dollars, but it will install every single carpet you ever sell." I'd buy and five of them. <laughs> and see, you wouldn't have any contractors working for you, right? And so those are all people who lost their jobs and they not making any, any money anymore. Well, and they actually still, have see? bots Look. now that will actually sell that carpet now for you. And they have them now. Yeah. And now they have bots that you will be in charge of that company, so they don't even need they you will, anymore They will either. sell the carpet, and they'll collect the money for the carpet, and they'll send out the bills for the carpet, and, and you'll they just sit at home and do that right like that. for the but manufacturer. What I like better about robots is they got these new sex robots, and now they got uh, male sex robots for females. They're making it's them not... in Campbell. <laughs> in here, really? Campbell, uh, California. Wow. You know, so these robots yeah, Jeff, Jeff, are... had, Jeff had his hand up. Or big dildos. Well, I, my attitude is that automation is here, and it's going to even be it's more inevitable. And 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 the whole idea of uh, I always say like job is becoming obsolete, and that that's it. So we owe a responsibility to humanity when their job becomes, you know, obsolete, right? Well, if, if, hey, if they you were don't size that made buggy whips really? and then they know. went away and they made it, something. <clears throat> Phil, Phil, here's the here's the point I'm trying to make. Look, companies, it. companies, if they figure out a way that they can do something cheaper and eliminate people, will do it. Okay, and so doing wh it. where do those people go? What happens to those people? You know, and look, look at my. They, they go industry. to the internet and they do a podcast for free. But Why so, do you Phil, answer every real, every every serious question I ask you with a joke when you don't have when you don't have an question. answer? What do you mean, where do they go? Where question. do they go, okay. Phil? Where do we they put... fix the robots? Oh, Phil, you know another robot will make the robots eventually. So you know my job. When my job becomes completely wireless and they don't need me anymore, and that's not just my company. That's every other comp you know comp competitor uh, competition. 
Mm-hmm. Every other company, they don't need their employees. My company employs almost 300,000 people when they don't need us, and the other companies don't need them too. You're talking about you know hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people being laid off. Okay, Josh, uh, uh, Josh, I mean, Jason, right, if, right, that right, happens, right. if that will, happens, will you to look you, when somebody has their hand up, Phil? Yeah, I, I'd like to go to them. Oh, I have the little. Circle. I'm sorry because I addressed the question. No, right. no, I'm going I to Jeff. Jeff, I can't see the. I, th- I think the biggest example of, of people losing their jobs is Alex. That's what I said. But, yeah. I uh, mean, he's been, he's so, been simplified. Jason. Well, my, my uh, to begin with, I mean, I don't know what I would do if I were a great deal younger. Uh, I couldn't answer that question because I'm not. Uh, I was laid off, I honestly believe, more because of age than anything else. Okay. Uh, I was doing my job. Uh, there were certain people who were out to get me, uh, such as George Soros, uh, that might have caused my demise. Mm-hmm. But nevertheless, uh, I don't consider that my uh, uh, not working is as a result of uh, of automation or anything else. It's as a result don't of sex. Is a result of ageism. Don't you think it also had to do with? Uh that you were getting paid yes oh yes that was the other thing i got replaced by i was making i was making a lot of money i was making maybe a hundred and twelve thousand dollars a year okay and then uh albert i think was making like about 75 grand for what he was doing and between the two of us that that show was costing him about two hundred thousand a year they replaced me with a guy they paid thirty five thousand dollars a year to I thought they replaced you with Joel Olstein for a million a year. No, they're paying Joel oh. Olstein a million dollars a year when Joel Olstein would have taken that time for free. Yeah. That's where the stupidity is in that, you know. But your industry in general is is definitely been replaced with. But but you know, and then, well, no, you, you know, know what's been Kevin, replaced with. I'll Kevin, tell you. I'll tell you what. It, about him. Uh, hold on a second. Trucking. Let, let me tell you what's been replaced by my business. It's been replaced by syndication. It's been replaced yeah, by the too. fact that but that what, uh, that be a, 800 a radio stations are running Rush Limbaugh on those 800 stations, and that's three hours a day that those 800 stations don't have to hire a local person to do a show. Right. Can you imagine if you took that WJFK job and they, and they were going to syndicate you, uh, how that road would have... Yeah, I would have been out of work by now. You think so? Oh, yeah. Is is, what, is is the guy who took my I'm, job, who was uh, 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 what Getty or uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Armstrong uh, and Getty. No, that, no, no, that's, no, that was no, local. No, 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 no. Uh, no I'm uh, talking about that. Yeah, what's his name? G. Gordon Liddy. G. Gordon Liddy. Yeah. Yeah, G. Gordon Liddy. He, he, is he still working? I don't think so. Well, he's too old. He got he he got the job that I turned down. Uh, yes, uh, Jason. But see, and that's another point. You know, even with trucking too. That's all going to go automated. These trucks are going to be self-driven, yep. self, you know, backed up into their own freaking place, the factory that they're delivering their parts to. Nobody has to drive that truck. You know how many people are employed by trucking? Nobody you know, like has said, to unload it. Nobody has to. It all gets unloaded by a bot. It gets put into stock by a bot, and it gets unloaded onto the factory line by the and bot. Even Amazon and it has falls to... off the back of the truck by a bot. Yep. <laughs> But, you know, it's like I said, with, with my job, that's going right, to be... We see the picture, know, Phil. You can get to put it away now. All right. Well, you didn't comment. I didn't know if with my know. employment, it's going to be hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions of people, being unemployed. Is there not any responsibility to the employer who's letting all these people go because the technology can that can afford to let these people go? And they can make just as much, if not more money, because now they don't yeah. have to pay people. Well, here's the, here's the other point. Here's the other point. You give a company, a major company, a major tra- tax break, which they did get in this last tax thing. And are they going to take and, 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 and they're going to tell you, well, you know what they're going to do with that money is they're just going to hire more people. No, they're not. They're going to squirrel that fi- hey, Let me finish, Phil. They're going to squirrel wrong. that money away. They're going to squirrel that money away. They're not going to invest it in people. They're going to see, if, and if they can find that they can have one person do two people's jobs, they'll have them do that. But this money they're getting, they're not going to apply towards people and hiring people. Yes, nope. Jeff. 
I would think uh, a lot of companies, if they had extra money at the end of the year because of Trump or whatever, they might invest in some of that company in automated equipment so they could let go more people. Yeah, yep. exactly. If, if that was the case, how come unemployment is at its lowest rate uh, and wages are rising, if, if that's the case? Uh, uh, wages yeah. are not rising, For one, Phil. Ra not, no, rich. no, you're wrong. Wages are rising. No, right. I'm right, Phil. Wages are well, not. Prove it. Prove it. Where, 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 where did you no. see that wages are going? Char down? Charles agreed with me. Charles, are wages Charles, going higher? The, or? Wages, wages are rising, yes. but they are not keeping up nowhere near with productivity. They're not keeping up with inflation. They're not keeping up with what they're supposed to be keeping up with. Wages are stagnant what and inflation? flat. There's barely any inflation. Oh, bullshit. There's still oh, inflation. There hasn't been inflation since Nixon. Phil. And you Phil, live in California. Phil, since Nixon, go to your fucking... If you don't think there's kid, inflation, Phil? go to your think fucking... How much did gas cost when you were a kid, Phil? Well, you know, that's because of taxes. That's because that's of... That's not because uh, of taxes. Taxes yeah. didn't, didn't raise it up $4. Well, your carbon tax and, and, and climate change. There's no change carbon crap. tax. Yeah, yeah. Well, in California, we're paying... There should be, and you should be... You should be one of the first people to understand climate control with all your scuba diving and hey, your bleached we, out reefs. We're, we're, we're paying close to $4 a gallon for gas in California. Nine and taxes. Most of it's tax. What well, are you paying? Oh, oh, oh what, after the taxes, it's $0. three cents a gallon, Phil? No, it's like 70 cents a gallon. No, it's not. In California? No, it's not. California, it's ridiculous. It yeah, is. What is it? It's like 70 cents. Maybe it's a little pretty bit. high. I don't remember what it is. No, taxes are very high for in California, but certainly the gas itself minus taxes is not 70 cents a gallon. No, it's uh, we're paying close to $4 a gallon. No, that's with the taxes. I said before taxes, it's not 70 cents a but gallon. But still, that, that's actually Three probably cents. where gas should be is around there. You All know, I'm yeah, saying is if you don't think there's inflation, gallon. Phil, just go to the fucking grocery store, okay? Yeah, a 20 ounce pop, you know, like a, I'm sorry, a soda or a cola, whatever you guys call it in the rest of the country. 20 ounces cost like $2 now. When I was a kid growing up, it was like 50 cents or 99 cents. And that's because we're. And by the we're way, by the, by, the, by the way, by the way, Trump loved to say how uh, uh, we are having uh, 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 unprecedented productivity in this country and so on. And uh, 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 we are. Money that we're making. So other countries, China, other countries, India, are doing better than we are. Because they're not bogged down with all of the uh, they're doing they're doing they're doing better than we are, Phil. Yeah, but they can't breathe. But Phil, you're changing the subject. What well, you just said has subject. nothing to do. It's has, easy to, has, no, that, no, no, that has nothing to do with the discussion here, whether people can breathe or not because of the yeah, air quality in China. The, they're, they're what I'm saying it, is, expense. what I'm saying is, the United States growth has not been as good as most of the other industrialized nations of the world. That's because we started out high. How oh, much high, Jesus, you know? Phil, you just you won't no, listen you know, to anything. They're doing it at the expense of the health of the people. Uh, because they Phil, can't they're not, we're not talking about the health of the people. Hey, we're talking about the productivity right, of a country and the amount of money that a country yeah, is making. And they're doing uh, better than we are. Unregulated capitalism. So, but, yeah. Well, it's unregulated. Uh, but what they're doing is, is it's not a fair playing field. We're, no, it's not because it's unregulated. Well, you know, so there are certain regulations. All that are I'm necessary. saying, Phil, is Thank that you, I don't Phil. care what you say. Alex, this country. Did you just hear him say that? What? Certain regulations. Well, yeah, it's are not necessary. black or white. There are certain regulations that are necessary. Uh, you know, but. Uh, uh, we're starting we, to flip them. <laughs> but we have so many regulations. <laughs> Because the Congress because we thinks want that our that's kids their job. to not get cancer and have their friggin' hair fall out and be able to have a happy life. <laughs> yeah, wait till yours falls out. <laughs> uh, like I said, we're we're at about seventy three cents a, a gallon on, for tax. Seventy three cents. Yeah, yeah. for so tax. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Hold on a second. How how many how much for taxes, Kevin? About seventy three cents per gallon. Yeah. So yeah. the rest well, of it is what you're paying for gas, right? 
Yeah, we're paying close to four bucks. Yeah, so take seventy three cents away. You're paying about uh, 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 three twenty. About three twenty a gallon for gas. Hey, come to Michigan and drive on our. So roads where where's that seventy cents it. a gallon for gas, Phil? Yeah. Okay. Uh, in Michigan, you said you were well, paying. Well, Phil, I asked you a question. You didn't answer my question. You're act what? acting like Whitaker. I said to you, "What is seventy cents? You take away. Uh, you said it was seventy cents a gallon. You were paying for gas in reality after taxes. No, the taxes. No, are no, only no. I said the tax was seventy. Six. 70 okay, cents. so the ga the gas is three and change three twenty three. Right. That's right? right. Okay. All right. You're going to say that's not inflationary? No, because oh, okay. uh, right. uh, Jason's state. I think it was actually sorry, it's two oh nine today. Jason's paying two oh nine, almost half the price, including the tax uh, that he pays in Michigan. You know, uh, so and come drive on our roads, Phil. It's uh, our roads are no better. Matter of fact, yeah, they just come, closed down the San coach. Rafael Bridge yesterday no because uh, that, football you have one sizes. Bridge? You only have one bridge closed down. Well, there's uh, the one that goes from the East Bay to Marin County. Uh, they, it, closed the it, they closed of it California. down for the whole day because football sizes of concrete were falling from the upper deck onto cars into the lower deck. You so, had the bridge closed down for one day? Oh, my well, goodness. Well, <laughs> they, they put up nets so that uh, cars could get through, but it, it looks hey, like the like roadway's falling come back down. To Michigan. Come back to Michigan and drive around. That's why I was pissed off that Trump wasn't even talking about infrastructure the other night. Yeah, he didn't say a word about it. Yeah. Not a damn word. Mexicans. And, and we got nothing going on, you know, as far as our roads and shit falling apart. Look at the East Coast. It's the place, that whole area is falling apart. They got five mile long bridges falling apart. Yeah. Those those are those states that are run by uh Democrats, right? But those are payer states. They're paying more well, those are the, the economy that's than the country the that's run states. by uh, Trump. You know, yeah. It, it's, I don't even it, blame it on Republicans. I just blame it on Trump. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's crazy when I've gone over to fix Canada. All that? I've gone over to Canada the before, and I see the roads, and they're in so much better condition. Than let them in; they'd fix the roads, right? No, uh, but uh, you know they dig a good ditch, so we could, we could pave the roads with they, MS. They lay some good carpet too, though. Don't yeah, they, they do. Oh. But the thing, Jason, is that uh, in your state. It snows. Do they salt the roads there? Yeah. Okay, well, that's what destroys the roads. Okay, but I just said, Phil, you go over to Canada. That's right next door to me. The roads are beautiful. They got about seven people that use them. Oh. I'm tired of your excuses, Phil. They're paid for. <laughs> I really am. I'm just tired of your answers to these things because it, it completely drives the conversation. Okay. In a wrong oh, direction. Oh, so oh the reason the why the economy in China is going at a faster pace than here is because people are choking to death. What does that have to do with it? Uh, well, if you don't see the, <laughs> the, the, the reason behind it, it's the effect of why, of why their economy is uh, Phil, able to I was excel. In I was in Beijing. I, I seemed to be able to breathe okay when I was there. Jason? Hey, sorry, I just remember one of the uh, tweets that John Dingle had. It said something about how, oh, the next president is going to be the person behind every morning cup of coffee. And he said, good luck, uh, Tim Horton. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how come they don't like Schultz? Because he's he's talking about things that are real. Schultz is a fucking moron is the reason why. Because he doesn't, he's going to take he doesn't know. He doesn't know what he's it, talking it, about. He's a dilettante. And he doesn't know what he's talking about. If he, he ran as a Democrat and didn't, and you didn't think you know, that he was going to throw the election. No, only saying things like you know, a chicken in every pot. He's got. Yeah, they you might know, like him then. He, you know, he's just got all the uh, all these simplistic answers to everything, and and it, it, he, he it's like uh, Bill Maher said it very nicely. He said, you know, a week ago we didn't even know who Schultz was, and now we know him as an asshole. You know, <laughs> so I mean, you know, but it's okay. Uh, for, uh, you know, free this, free that, free the other thing, whether it's Bernie or uh, Ock uh, making, uh, you know, making these things, saying that, you know, we're going to tax Are you going to call her Ock all the time now? Is that your new little joke thing? To diminish, Phil? To, di Phil. to diminish a woman who I think deserves some I level of... It doesn't matter whether she was a man or a woman. I diminish her position. Yeah, because None that's the, the only way you can argue... That's the only way you can argue against her. Through their taxes. 
Yeah, so that uh, is another way of eliminating personal I'm choice. I'm going to tell you something, Phil. I'm going to make tell you this right now. I probably won't live to see it because I'm getting older by the day. Uh, and in this particular case, then I older by the hour. Uh, and and uh, I got to tell you that if you don't go to some form of socialism in this country, then you better get ready for communism. Okay? And that's, you know, if you don't allow the people to start getting a little something out of this democracy, if you don't allow them to get something out of those taxes they're paying, if they feel that they are not getting uh, th those things which give them a certain quality of life that are socialistic in nature, then you're going to have an uprising that's going to wind up in communism yep. in this country. I got one, for you I got one for. word. I got one word is what they're getting, and it's called freedom. And uh, Freedom to die. No, free, freedom to be and do what you want. I don't know. Phil, 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 Why do you think left. all of these people I, I, want to get into this country? I don't have freedom. Well, that's because you don't go outside. No, I don't but, have freedom, Phil. No, they see, there you go, making another joke. Well, if you were still working and you were making the kind of money that you were making when you had fucking money, I didn't money, feel I had. I you would have all the freedom. I didn't you want. feel that I had freedom then. Oh, I didn't I feel that I had the kind of freedom that really counts. That this country has always made a big deal out of freedom, and yet they don't really give it to people, especially the people who need it the most. Can you say blacks in America over the years have had freedom? Uh, yes. Oh well, then and you're a, then a you're more then you're a white then you're a white dilettante asshole. No, no, you know, when, if you Charles, look, Charles, I, I, the question I just asked him, Charles, do you agree with me? Have the blacks have freedom in this country? Nope. Maybe not as much as you think they should have, and not as no, much as they I, should have. No, I I say they the kind of freedom that is advertised, Phil. Well, yes, uh, because you look, you the know, the kind of people... freedom that's advertised that I was taught in school that I had. It was a fucking lie. Look at Colin Powell. Look at other. Oh, black yeah. OK. Leaders. Yeah. 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 And look at, uh, I don't know, W.E.B. Du Bois or something. G give us some exceptions to the rule. How about some some of the average? How about the average black guy that's living here in Harlem? I don't think he feels he has that freedom. Oh, but he has the. Opportunity and what the hell is we're being attacked by a cat at Jason's house? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you know, the guy, the guy, the guy, the poor person in Harlem has the opportunity to work hard, just like when the Chinese came to this country. They, That's bullshit, uh, Phil. That is all a ruse to make people work their asses off and then at the end of their life be living, uh, being on their deathbed going, gee, I worked really hard, but I didn't get any fucking thing out of it. Yeah, well, maybe you don't see it with no, your children. No, no, it is the, it's well. the great, no, it, that's a lie too. It's a great American lie to keep people working I'm working and working thinking there's going to be some kind of payoff and then they find out there isn't one. Well, I guess you uh, got the same dupe that they give you in the church. No, the du great dupe is this country saying if you work hard enough, you can, you know, you can do this oh, or you can that do guy that. Schultz that. And you the don't fact, like, look at him. Hey, hey, you oh, no, again? My, my, I, don't give me, parents, don't give me the my, exceptions to the rule, Phil. Don't give me the my few people. My parents were illegals that came over here, and I think they did pretty good, and I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, but they were well, illegals. <laughs> Yeah, chain migration. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, I, you know, I, I just, I, mean, I, I think it, the American our world is full of exceptions, and that's all. Hey, Phil, I don't give a shit. Give you the hope. All I'm saying is, if you don't give people in this country a certain modicum of of of, of socialism, you're going to find it's going to get much worse than if they didn't give them some socialism. They have no problem with socialism for the rich. That's exactly no, what, that's right? exactly, <laughs> let me go back and say that we did it at one time in this country. His name was FDR, and he saw that this country was going towards communism because the, uh, 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 what do you call it, the... Uh, uh, well, the jazz musicians uh, were smoking pot in uh, Harlem. Yeah. What does that have to do with it? They were going, <laughs> for the, you know, the, those are the oh, communists. You know. know, I can't get a thought out without you taking it right off the road. Uh, uh, the, the jazz the, the, we, were smoking. We had the Great Era. Depression, and during the Great Depression, a lot of people were thinking, "Hey, this thing, communism, might be the answer." And in order to keep America from going towards communism, he gave us a large dollop of socialism. 
in things like uh, Social Security, Social Security and, yeah. and, and a lot of different programs that were initiated. And Public that works. kept communism away from our doors. The day is going to come that if we don't add a certain amount of really substantial and meaningful socialism in this country, then you're going to have to put up with communism knocking at your so door. You would rather have the government tell you what to do, where to go, what to buy, what not to buy. No, that isn't, that, that's, not, that's not socialism, Phil. What are well, you that's, talking that's about? Exactly what you're you're, no, you're talking about you're communism, but you're, that's communism. Yeah, you're not you're talking about socialism. And by the way, I, by the way, you're talking kind of about capitalism when you're saying that. Nah, well, I don't know where you get that from, where you dug that out of. Dude, that's uh, the problem is that people are relating socialism to communism, and it isn't that. It is. No, it, it isn't. isn't. No, it isn't not. even close, Phil. That's the problem. It's the it's the first. Baby no, step no, no, it isn't. No, no, yeah, yeah, and, no. and marijuana is the first step towards heroin. Okay, yeah, bullshit. Fuck you. You know, it's bullshit. Right. Excuse it's me, the, I'm, I'm what feeling. What are you going to little... do, Phil, when technology overtakes jobs? And it's happening. It's happening every day. Do I'm we owe lay something? On a beach, and I'm going to say welcome to Walmart. Okay, you might be able to afford to. No, I can't. What about somebody else who is not able to afford to? So your job, so you say you can't afford right now. So let's just say, boom, your job is just obsolete. It's gone. Technology overtook it. It's just gone. I'll you don't find have a way to make a living. You know, there's always doing a way to what? make a living. By doing what? Now, say you want to become a you delivery find a driver. Need and and every, fill it. every car is automated now, and it's driven by a computer. It'll never be that way. It's, you know, it, dude, we are like five years away from having automated cars, self-driving cars. Well, that would be an improvement. You're, look at all the jobs. No taxi drivers anymore. No delivery drivers anymore. No pizza delivery drivers anymore. Nobody driving a semi-truck anymore. Nobody in, conducting a train anymore. All these fucking jobs, gone. They're just going to have to find another need and fill it. What is left? We'll find out. What's going you know, to what's going to happen to all those people who did those jobs, Phil? Well, you know, they they're, they're by that time they'll be. We're older. talking millions of people losing yeah. their jobs. It's not going to happen overnight. It, it, but it, know, when, it's okay, not overnight. Let's Phil, say ten this years. Ultimate, ten year span. It, it, it this way, this ultimate years. greed, this ultimate greed that we have caused in this country because of excessive capitalism is going to come back to bite this country in the ass. Robots. Okay. That's the point of the game of Monopoly. What happens in the game of Monopoly, Phil? Uh, you, you buy Park Place. Okay, but, so somebody wins. If you right? land you on it, I own your shit. Money. Biggest pocket wins. Everybody wins and everybody else loses. Yeah. Uh, I, all know, I'm saying is that ca capitalism is going to a point where it is existing to the exception of anything else and anything else as, as part of this society. And because of, of ultimate capitalism is also the end point of ultimate capitalism is greed, total and utter greed. All right. I agree with well, I mean, it, that's it. And, and just like the, the end, end all of communism is totalitarianism. I mean, and, and a lack of a lot of freedoms for people to have. So my point is, is that you don't want, we've gotten to the point where ca capitalism has gotten so greedy that it's going to, it's going to come, become the ruination of this country. And if you don't believe it, Phil, you're going to see it happen. Maybe and, you won't and, live and it long. It may not enough. happen yeah. for 10 or 20 years, but I got a kid in the next room that may, will be around when it's going on. And Here's. I got to kind of guide her to what's going to be happening when that, all that, all that's going on. Yeah. I got to guide her to, you know, here's where the way you got to go. And I don't know what that is right now. Well, nobody does. Well, but yeah, but we got to, we knew when we were growing up how things were going to go for the most part. Well, Alex says that that was a lie. The picket fence, the house, the retirement. He says, no, that's what, that's not necessarily. It was a, it, 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 it was a promise we of a, was it was a promise go. of a payoff you might never, ever get. OK. Right. And and people work their asses off and then they're lying on their deathbed saying like uh, Mar Marlon Brando, the day he died, you know, his last words were, what the fuck was that all about? Yeah. Uh, anyway, Jeff, you were you were looking like you wanted to say something. You had something no. to add. Um, 
I mean, over, do, do you do, do you agree or no. disagree with me that they've got to do something about this greed in this country, or they're going to wind up having it come back to bite them in the ass? I think it's very uh, problematic that that that's got to be controlled somehow. Yeah, and and it's not. There's no easy solution. Yeah, right. And uh, and yeah, some of the things is. You really don't have to give billionaires extra money every day. Yeah. There are it's two been a thousand long, yeah, yeah, billionaires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a long-term pyramid that's been growing since mm -hmm. the 50s and the 60s and the 70s. <clears throat> it's con continually growing and growing and yeah. growing and growing. There's and eventually it's going to blow. Uh, Charles has his hand up. Charles. Yeah, we, we just can't keep giving these huge tax cuts to the rich people. And then saying we got to cut Social Security and Medicare, things that people have been paying in for decades. We got to cut their benefits because we can't. We have to make up for these rich ta these tax cuts for the rich. And by the way, let's uh, quit. AOC let's you can give yeah. 70 percent tax. Let, let's quit calling them entitlements. Let's quit calling them entitlements yeah, too, they because they're not. Them. They're earned benefits, is what right. they are. Yes, uh, Jason. See, and that's what I call the battered wife syndrome. You know, the the battered wife, she says, oh, you know, he just got upset. He's not going to do it again. He promised he's not going to do it again. And, you know, and then that's the same thing with these tax cuts. We got to give these tax cuts to the job producers, job creators, so they can create more jobs. Well, they didn't create more jobs last no. time. They didn't create more jobs yes, the, the next time. They're not creating more jobs this time. How come unemployment the, went down? Phil, okay, unemployment went back down to normal. What no, it was during Clinton, was five six percent during Clinton was no during Clinton that was like three point nine percent, and that's what a full employed economy is like. But when a full employed economy and there's a certain percentage of them or a larger percentage of them that can qualify for freaking uh, welfare. That's a bunch of bullshit. We should not be supplementing employers employment of people by, you know, saying you're able to pay them such low wages that they can qualify for welfare. That's a bunch of bullshit. If you work a full time job, you should not be able to qualify for welfare. Right. Yeah. I mean, you had a, you had a company, you had a company like Walmart who's uh, uh, had what, classes had classes on how do you how to get uh, uh, on on food stamps and things yep. like that can't get a robot to teach you that yes you can yes Phil another joke solves the whole problem mm -hmm. and makes your argument correct yes yeah yeah uh, you well know. don't talk ill about my future employer who a oh, Walmart. Oh, well. <laughs> I can't even get a job at Walmart. You know, I, I think they would think I was too old for a job at Walmart as a greeter. Tell them you're retarded. Huh? And they'll, if you're retarded, they'll, they'll take you. Or as I like to say at the New, the Boston version, retarded. <laughs> yeah. Right. What are you, retarded or something? Yeah. You've been. Uh, Albert, what's, what's that show on Showtime with the uh, Boston people? Uh, 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 Ray Donovan. Uh, yeah, yeah. retired. Yeah. Yes, uh, Jason, quickly. The theme is starting. Oh, to never mind. That's not gonna be quick. So, all right. Good night. No. Oh no. Quick uh, thought. You, oh, you the can't be quick. I used to work for was a was a Fortune 250 company. Yeah. Had about thirty thousand uh, employees. Yeah. Down to about twelve thousand five hundred now. They bought one program called SAP. Uh huh. Think about that. Okay. Anyway, hey, thank the you. Last uh, thirty years. Thanks, I, Kevin. I, and it's going to be. A, it definitely is going to be a Phil free Tuesday. Yeah. Because uh, I I have a commitment to uh, oh. do something for somebody else. Uh, uh, I have a oh, he's doing another podcast. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's cheating. He's cheating on me. Yeah. No, uh, I'm going yeah. to a meeting. I have to deliver a bunch of photo prints. Phil, thank you. You're uh, welcome. In spite of our disagreements, Kevin, thank you as well, Jason. Jeff Stein, Charles Wallace, Ray was here, but he had to leave. It looked like Bree was trying to call in, but he never got in. Uh, but you know what? I would love to have you uh, look at that camera and give everybody a big wave goodbye. Okay? Bye-bye. Hey, oh, oh, thank you, Jason. <laughs> ah, that's it. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Boy, I was exhausted. I don't know why, but then all of a sudden... When we started getting into all the arguing and the yelling and the screaming, uh, it woke me up. So now I'll be up all night, okay? Anyway, uh, 
Jack Bishop is next. He's got a little uh, show. It's called uh, The uh, Intersection, and it follows us uh, in just a few moments. We'll see you again uh, next Tuesday, right after Damian Chaplin's Exchange at 9.30 Eastern Time at 10 o'clock. Back again with more of the same. Same time, same station in life, and in the meantime, as always. If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? I really do, too.